K from CPU. Can't imagine myself without you. If I ain't had loud, I don't know what I'll do. Nigga be grabbing that shit ain't cool. Come to my house, looking fuck in my pool. Nigga, bring my house, I'ma put him on the news. I was real young, I was trapping in school. Nigga, we can shoot it out, nigga, we can have That's pretty much how it works. Like, that's the process. You know, you have to work your way up, like, kind of with the banks. You know, kind of with everything, too, with the credit. That's how it is. Like, some of these credit unions, you don't even want to apply as soon as you get in. Uh, you would want to wait just to build that relationship up with them um, and even deposit some money, you know, a couple hundred or something into their bank. And uh, you could at least want to wait two weeks with some of these credit unions before you just go and apply. You know, you don't want to look too thirsty. You don't want to look too crazy. You at least wait a week or two. But also, too, to give them a relationship. Now, another thing you could really do is really key, especially if you have bad credit, just to help you get a loan, uh, go with like NAEP Federal or any of these credit unions, uh, you know, we credit union pretty much. Now, go and take out a secured pledge loan or a secured loan. They have these pledge loans and these things. It's like kind of a rebuilder credit type thing. So it's for people with the better credit. They'll, they'll let you into there at first. Build, use that and build with them using that, basically. So pay it off for at least three to six months and, and, and maybe even pay the full thing off. Like, really, you want to do it to where you have your own money. You just, let's say you got 5K or at least a band or two to play with. Put that in the secured loan pledge. You know, and they're going to give you the loan back and you just don't use this loan. Just use the money to pay it off. You're just moving money around. But when you get that, when you get the loan or whatever, like I said, you just pay it off, pay it off a little earlier, too, than it's even due. Um, you know, but at least make like three months of payments, stuff like that. And boom, then you can pay the whole loan off. Now you got paid off loan on your credit report. Now it looks really good. You could also do that with like self and or these other little primary accounts, too. You can do it for three months and then just pay the full thing off and it'll look like a paid loan of however much the amount of that account was. So then it looks good when you have paid loans. And you can do that like once a month after three months. If you do each month, you're paying off a thousand dollar loan. By three months, you've got three thousand dollar loans paid off. And that'll really boost your score. You know, that's a really solid primary uh, as far as long with getting a secured credit card. You can always put five hundred of your own money into a, into a bank and use that as a credit card. This will build your primary. And by you just making payments and doing stuff like that, that's going to build your credit report too. Because it's a primary account that you're doing. But the more, the more higher the limit, the better, because you don't want to get stuck in, a, in that type of box. But like I said, with these credit unions, you go do that with them, put a couple of bands in. As soon as you go ahead, after you like do three months and you pay off that loan, then go ahead and apply for the real loan, 20K or 20K CC. Now that you've already had that relationship established with them, you've got the little pledge loan or whatever, and you've been paying it off, now they're going to go ahead and give you a 20K. They're going to treat you like a valid customer, not just based off your credit report, but based off the relationship and the history that you built with them. Like, oh, this person has a history of paying off. Oh, look, they paid off the whole loan. You know, if we gave him five, they will give him 10 pay this time. You know I mean? So that's some sauce right there on how to open up banks. You feel me really quick with CPNs, a little hack. Like I said, once you get into chase with that hack, it's it's open sesame from there because it's your foot's in the door with the big things now. But yeah, tap in for more sauce. You know what I'm saying? If you need uh, if you need a book a call, if you need coaching, you need one on one help, your CP, just book a call with me. It's 150 for 30 minutes, and I'll go over whatever you want to go over and help you. You know, and I also got a lot of methods too uh, in my pay chat. It's only 50 bucks, 50 month, 50 bucks a month to join my pay chat. I got the public records link, that secret public records link I was talking about that really shoots your, your stuff out to like hundreds of loans. Um, I got so many methods. Another bank open up method with pros that you, you know, I got a lot of different methods with CPMs. We got a, a iPhone method, a Dell method, how you can get a uh, food for 25 credit or 35, up to 35 credit with, uh, with Dell.com. So you can buy laptops and you can go sell those laptops, you know, the same thing like the phone. But yeah, tap in, sauce go.